So also, if anyone has any questions, raise your hands. Mr. Nared. Yellow plastic, white plastic that turns yellow. Yeah. Also. The natural color of ABS is kind of a bone yellow. So over time, the color leaches out, quite literally, and it becomes, a, a, yeah, white is an, a, a, a color that you would add to the ABS to make it white. That's when you see things like old R2-D2s and old C-3PO's, you know, where the, the gold has come off C-3PO and it's that same kind of color. That's the natural color of ABS plastic. Yes, sir. So, Aaron, how come if you use like a peroxide mixture, it will restore it back to the Yeah, well, it, it, it'll clean up. It, it's, t plastic is still picking up toxins in the air and being affected, especially when they're in locked in the packages. You know, over time, you guys sense that, why is my blister now tinted? That's, that's over time the leaching of chemicals out of the toy and being trapped somewhat into the blister um, and or the sun affecting that whole soup as and well. And it's different kinds of plastics that have that yeah, effect. Yeah, and every plastic uh, will a, act differently. A great example of the differences of plastic in the same toy is, if anyone's familiar with the tick, it's a, um, if, you, if you own an original mint on card tick, just the original tick toy, uh, the toy, so. yeah, they were made out of three different kinds of plastic, so you could see that change of those different plastics right there just with that one toy. Yeah in yeah. storage. So, any other questions? Yeah, right. Uh, we'll go with Missy in the black. Um, and oddly enough, I heard that a, the Unite, specifically the Unite Warriors Motor Master, the brown that was used, is actually already suffering from the similar effects. Of it's possible. The thing is, is, you know, sometimes stuff is made, yeah. and they don't think about the five-year, you know, yeah. long-term. Now, now, what you'll find, um, you won't, you won't find this as often with Hasbro, in spite of the example you just showed, but uh, the, if you buy really knockoff robots you know, from a drugstore or some, <laughs> somewhere not you know, sanctioned. Compressed plastic. Yeah, they just break apart, right? Because they're not using quality plastics at all. It's almost like a recycled plastic. Yeah, yeah. A, lo a lot of, a lot of um, um, I'm trying to think of some and, and bootlegs so that were popular that people would know, but it, you go to any dollar store now, usually the, the off-brand Transformers, uh, yeah. Dollarama right now is carrying like Beast Wars Neo off-brand yeah. bootlegs. If you feel the plastic on those compared to, let's say, your normal uh, Lyo Convoy Jr., which is what it was trying to bootleg some of them, uh, you'll see it has this weird kind of graininess to it because it's a recycled plastic that's been yeah. almost... Yeah, the more times, like black plastic is the worst because that's essentially the sweepings of the factory floor put into a hopper and it just makes black. Therefore, a lot of black things, in some toys you'll see the swirl, you know, in it. That's yeah. because it's a lot of mess that's kind of trying to work together in a mold. Pure black is, you gotta spend money and get the better black pigment. Um, but a lot of that's called regrind. And that's, you definitely see it on darker colors at times. Hasbro, it's not so much an issue, but other lower end companies.